Yes, well, that's uh, we all well, also we are living under sort of Big Brother's sort of gaze you know, in Oxford, where I come from. I think you can pass twenty CCTV cameras in about you know um, a quarter of a mile. So you know we are under surveillance, and, and what matters in these issues is whether it, it's it's good for people or bad for people, and that that I think is the main question: whether it's abused or not. I mean, I, there are cases of people getting getting off from alleged rape because a CCTV camera was happened to be poking into their bedroom and would show that they were that they were innocent. So you know there can be good consequences of this technology, and and as I began, I think the two principles you need to make sure it works. For people's benefit and, and secondly to give them as much freedom as possible now there's always a balance so with surveillance you know the less freedom you have often the worse off you are uh, the less safe your society particularly globally so you have to balance these two values of well-being and, and liberty but those are the values that are important i think and not saying well you must have you know absolute privacy um, and this is already really hampering research and, and development. We can't access information that would, would be very safe to access about people's health and develop new treatments uh, and new understanding of disease because of layers and layers of, of privacy and confidentiality legislation. So I think that in, in, in we can go too far uh, in terms of, of protecting uh, rights and liberty and it's the people who are worse off are all of us. Well, I think, you know, the ideal situation would be that you have a world government that coordinates actions across nations and, and, uh, and does that for, for, for good. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's, it's, it's totally, uh, you know, unrealistic that such a, a government could be established by human beings. And there is also, of course, the, the threat, of, threat of abuse. Um, so I think it's, it's, you know, excessively utopian thinking to think that, you know, we, we're going to have a, world, a, ben, a beneficent world government anytime soon. I think, you know, we need to start to formulate policies that, that are based on the reality of the human situation, human psychology and human politics. And, you know, that's why I've argued that we should start by enhancing uh, not just the institutions and ethics that we have, but also our own dispositions and capacity to make moral decisions. I mean, I would, you know, people are sort of <laughs> frightened about surveillance and everything. I would actually be wearing a permanent recording device on me because so many times you have some conversation, somebody promises to do something or says something, and then I don't know, hey, just be able to replay it back. So, you know, we increase the veracity of, of uh, of, of interactions and you know I personally would vote for a, a little recording device in my glasses that sort of uh, that uh, recorded what was happening.